guys, it's adventure time on the N60 Sean YouTube channel. Look, we're off on a lovely adventure to check out the Nintendo Labo. We went down to Windsor. Look at me setting the scene here with some shots of the area. Look at those roadworks. See, this is, this is why I'm the number one vlogger. And here we are at Nintendo HQ. That's where we're going. See, I zoomed in because that's the door going in. Uh, to check out Nintendo Labo. So if you don't know what Nintendo Labo is, people, it is the combination of games and toys and cardboard and construction is essentially the gist that I got. Uh, you, you get the, the, the starter set and you can make these models out of cardboard, you fold them up, you can make houses, you can make little pianos, uh, you can make uh, fishing rods and you combine them with the Nintendo Switch and you can make a whole host of uh, different games and fun experiences. I mean, here's the robot. The robot, I mean, is a complete, it's a different set, it's a set on its own. It takes like four hours to put together. But essentially you make this entire robot costume and then as you can see in the, in the, in the accompanying video, uh, you can go and control a robot around the city. This is a motorbike which is part of the starter pack. It's very, very hard to film and control the motorbike at exactly the same time as I sit here languishing in tents, sounding the horn like an absolute steaming pile of hot garbage. Uh, but uh, one of the main things that we were doing when we were at this uh, Nintendo Labo showcase, thank, uh, hosted very graciously by Nintendo, was to try out one of the things that you can make in the starter set, which is the little RC cards. One of the more simpler ones, so it's very quick to put together. And here's how it all works. You get a sheet of cardboard, you pop out the models, you follow the instructions, very much like Lego on the Switch. Uh, it's very easy to control the instructions. You can zoom in and out, you can skip forward, skip back. Very, very, you know, it's Nintendo. So you know it's all gonna work very well. The cardboard, uh, which we use, is very like sturdy and things. Like, that's me demonstrating the skip back and forward in the instructions. Here I am filming with one hand and putting um, uh, the, the cardboard together. Like, hey, Sean, why didn't you, uh, why don't you just take a tripod with you? Because Sean forgot it, because he's a great guy. Uh, so here we are making the little RC car. Um, which you can then combine with the uh, Joy-Con controllers to then drive around using the Nintendo Switch. One of the big things that they were uh, keen that we did, which is one of the main things of the uh, Labo sets, is the customization options. You can see some felt pens in the background before we just give you a little demo of how this bad boy is gonna work. You can already hear someone, someone else is already about to, just about to appear into shot. I so was just about to drive us. Look who comes to steal our thunder. Who's this guy? Stop stealing my moment. Get your, get your little RC rubs out of, out of shop. So here we go. Let's say you drive the RC car and uh, you can do all sorts of little c collaborations as mine sidesteps over to the left. You can also uh, you can uh, adjust the uh, intensity of the vibrations and also you can use the little uh, the um, infrared camera to follow you around as well. So everybody was going crazy, customizing their uh, little RC cars. We had loads of <laughs> felt pens and print stick and the such like. Because um, it's just cardboard, so you can do whatever. This is from like the Nintendo accessory uh, pack that you can get with it. Here's some of the uh, other efforts of other people who had attended Nintendo Labo fun before us. Obviously, Went for Henry Horseman. Look at the state. <laughs> it's even worse than I remember. <laughs> it's essentially just like kill me, please kill me. Uh, we also had like a little RC battle, which uh, Henry Horseman fell on his back within seconds, and then just became immobilised <laughs> by this guy who actually went a little bit overboard. So, so the whole making the little RC car was really fun. The customization was all good. And so my initial first impressions before we delve into this Nintendo Labo. So you've had a little look at it. My first impressions of this, uh, people, which I talk more about in the Fun Kids Gaming podcast, which you can link in the description. Um, your first thought is, is this just another sort of gimmicky Nintendo thing? Like Nintendo, you know, they, they've got like the, like the Wii Fit and stuff like that. Is this another th thing which is going to be fun for a bit? and then stop being fun. Like once you've made a cardboard piano, how often are you going to be getting the cardboard piano out to play a bit once the initial fun of the of, of playing the game 
has um, worn off. Like some of the some of the models, uh, some of the some of the games are good fun. Like the house, you have different you you put in different bits of cardboard and opens up lots of mini games. But again, longevity of the game, how in depth and how much fun are those games going to be in the long term? Well. This is where I think Nintendo Labo is going to go a step beyond uh, being gimmicky and actually be something which is really, really fun and something which is actually quite exciting. So a mode that we were shown at the, uh, at the event was the, uh, the Toy-Con Garage mode, which allows you to get into the depths of the, uh, the Labo programming and you can essentially reprogram the, the, um, the, the different games to do, to essentially open up a whole host more possibilities for playing. So if you see Henry Horseman here, you know, you saw it in early in the video, we were controlling it with the Switch. You can reprogram it that you can then control the RC cars with the fishing rod or with the motorbike. So you can then open up new possibilities for playing. Uh, we've also got shown a custom game where someone had made like a shooting mini game with this little fella and a little custom made like little gun pew 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 thing. So he made his own game using the Toy-Con Garage. So I think that's where Nintendo Labo is gonna be, is gonna maybe prove to be super duper popular is how in depth are people gonna go with that Toy-Con Garage? Like if the, the possibilities that that opens up, I think is really, really, really impressive. So that was my main take of the day. That was when, when, I, went, when I first heard about Nintendo Labo, my main concern, is this just gonna be gimmicky? My concern, well, solution to my concern, was that the Nintendo Toy-Con Garage is very extensive and is gonna allow a whole host of possibilities. Uh, we were told that, you know, you can make your own items out of anything, like make your own sort of, because it's just cardboard. So if you want to make like a cardboard guitar and then program the uh, switch to play certain notes when you move the um, uh, Joy-Con controller or something like that, then that those sort of things are possible in the Toy-Con garage. You can also uh, delve in deep to how each of the individual games work to give yourself ideas of how the AR camera in the in the in the Joy-Con controllers, its reactions to light and things is what what triggers the different things. It is going to be potentially exciting of how other developers decide to use this technology. Like, can you imagine having an RPG where it comes with a sword or some weaponry or just some accessories which use the sort of Labo style or even like a Labo style cardboard stuff? Uh, to add to that sort of sense of immersion, that when you're swinging the sword, that reacts in the game. I think, I mean, we weren't told that that was definitely going to happen, but again, I think with Labo, what is going to be exciting is the prospects of it and how far people are going to go with the customization tools that are available in the software. So that was my first impressions. I am keen to uh, see it further. I think we're gonna we'll, we'll, we'll have a couple of sets to show you guys if that is a thing that interests you. Of course, if you want to see more Nintendo Labo stuff, then uh, let me know in the comments. So that was our Nintendo Labo adventure, guys. Just thought I'd fill you in on that one. I uh, hope you are all excellent. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to hear more about uh, Nintendo Labo fun times, then go and check out the Fun Kids Gaming Podcast. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to it. As well, you massive, massive heroes. I've been N60Sean. We will be back with more WWE stuff very, very, very soon. Bye-bye.